Have you ever considered where the water comes from when you turn the faucet on to wash your hands? Or where the water goes when you flush the toilet? Today we're going to talk about where that water comes from and where it goes and what it means for you. Hi, I'm Thomas Lucas and I work for Rogers O'Brien Construction and I'm your superintendent for the new T.A. Brown Elementary School. Today we're going to talk about underground utilities. Underground utilities are the pipes that are in the ground that bring you water and move the stormwater off site. So underground utilities go underground. Part of the reason is to keep them safe from everything else that goes around them. Have you ever considered if your sprinkler system at your house was up on the ground? You'd trip all over it when you're outside playing or you'd run over it with the lawnmower. So the same type of distribution line, your water line, your rainwater or storm sewer lines, and your wastewater lines, they all go underground. The engineer will determine where the lines need to go in order to best serve the building. Once he's figured out where they go, then the contracting crew will start digging a trench, much like the one that I'm standing in, put rocks at the bottom to level it out, and then start laying the line. This is actually gonna be the storm line just outside of the gymnasium. So we talked a little bit about how the wet utilities at least come from outside the site up to the building. Here I'm standing inside of what will be one of the bathrooms attached to one of your classrooms. This pipe and this pipe will both take the dirty toilet water and it makes its way through the building pad and out the building and it'll go all the way underground through the park to a manhole that's in the intersection just behind me. That's how water, wastewater, or water that gets used out of the sink ends up leaving the building. All right, well it's time to get back to work. We'll see you next time. And remember, safety starts with me. Yeah.